Hi Judy. Hi Helen. Hey babies, back to basics. Who is that? Brenda. <laughs> Hi Bobby. Hi Lori. Hey Deborah. Hi Reese. Hi little Reese. Hi Michelle. Hi Patty. Hi Reese. Um, look. Look what Dollar Tree had. The pumpkin frames. I tried to start it because it's going to take me forever to fill in. But as I was starting it, I didn't think I had enough mesh, so I had to run to the Dollar Tree and get more. So I didn't want to run out halfway through. Because I'm figuring there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight bars on here, and I like them full. So I only had seven um, rolls, so I, I needed, I got two more, just in, no, I got three more just in case. But I figured a roll for each bar because I don't want to see the frame. So, we're gonna do that, because I've never done one. So this, um, all the mesh is from the Dollar Tree, so I picked up 10 of these. I'll let you know if we use all 10. And I'm cutting them 20 inches long uh, for 20 inch long ruffles. And again, that's from the Dollar Tree. All the supplies I'll be using are from the Dollar Tree I think so far um, except my pipe cleaners I do not use Dollar Tree pipe cleaners I find them a little flimsy uh, I don't like them so I use pipe cleaners from Hobby Lobby that's probably the only thing that's not Dollar Tree so like I said I cut my ruffles 20 inches long and I cut my pipe cleaners in half but I'm gonna cut them in half again because I don't need them to be that long so I'm going to cut them in half and then in half again because you got to save where you can, right? So I'm just, oh, let me point down. Sorry, guys. And I am uh, recording from my phone. Can you guys hear me okay? So I'm just cutting them in half. Look, you guys, I got a new placemat. And I finally broke out and bought a new glue gun. <laughs> Now nobody has to hear me, you know, complaining about my gun. And I can see the lines on my mat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Uh, so I prepped some of the pipe cleaners. Is the lighting okay? I feel like it's still dark in here. Hold on. any better okay all right so I'm gonna cut some down you guys I'm kind of gonna do this like a tutorial so I'm not talking the whole entire video and I will answer your questions at the end I have had a very very busy summer um, and you know I camp on the weekends and then I have my design group on the week uh, but I'll be back to my normal lives very soon. I just, last summer, I didn't go to camp because I was busy, you know, opening my business and stuff. But this year, I'm trying to enjoy the summer. Not really enjoy it, but between yard work and staying, and I've been pretty busy. So I'm just cutting these 20 inches long. I'm just doubling them so it's not taking me all day. And I already prepped most of it. And uh, most of you know Cheryl. She's the one who's greeting you and um, answering any of your questions as my business page, Laura Jean's Wraith Firm. For those of you who don't know me, hello, I'm Laura Jean and welcome to my channel, Laura Jean's Wraith Firm. If you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, make sure you like, share. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, because of you guys, you've helped my channel grow tremendously, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, so the right now, it's uploading right now. It should be done for the uh, loft. Uh, that tutorial for Mr. Bones is uploading on the side of me on my computer 
Um, that was a pain in the butt because I did a recording on my Mevo and it made it in three separate videos. So then of course I had to send it to Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl again is my moderator. She's from Owl's Tech Talk DIY and more. Or Creative Freeze DIY and more. Sorry about that Owl. And uh, Owl's Tech Talk. Uh, Cheryl runs my YouTube channel and she does Facebook posts for me. I hire her for all those things. So if you guys are looking for someone like that, Cheryl is your girl. If you need a moderator, any of those things. Oh, oh God, I can't reach that. <laughs> my my mat um, numbers start opposite of my other mat, though. I'm not that clean. On. The one starts down here and before the one was on this side. So it's like... I'm a little not left-handed. I think it was a left, it's for a left-handed person. Yeah, so the mesh and the uh, Dollar Tree frame is from the Dollar Tree. All right, so here comes the long, tedious part of walking all these ruffles in. Yay. <laughs> We're going to be here for a while. Now, I was going to double this. I got my mat from um, AC Moore's, and it's double-sided, guys. So when the lines all fade out from one side, I can just flip it over and I have another whole side. It's very heavy. I was like, why is this mat so heavy? And then the lady goes, oh my God, it's double-sided. So it's like, yes, yeah, nice. So um, I'm just gonna walk these in. So these are ruffles, 20 inches long. You're gonna put your fingers down here at the bottom and then you're just gonna scrunch it and try to stay in the center with your fingers. If you veer off to the side, it's fine. Just push it back over and walk it back up the middle. So we're going to do all of these 20-inch ruffles in this frame. And I got nine of them to scrunch and roll, so we're going to be here a while because I am not that fast at it. So I already am on row two. If I was freaking out, like, I don't know if I have enough. So I ran to the Dollar Tree. It's just a couple miles away. But I didn't want to be short. Uh, hey, Laura Jean, did you get yours from at store? I, I got them at the store, Vicki. The Dollar um, Tree... Pump, er, the pumpkin frames, they have them in the store. And this is actually the first one I'm making live with you. <laughs> so hopefully it comes out good. Because I have not made one yet. Oh girl, I'm not that fast. Not at all, Brenda. Brenda said you're really fast compared to me. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't see them there yet. Uh, Tony, they're not in, they weren't in the regular, um, I actually walked around because I seen someone post it. So I had to go there to, of course, buy the tubing. And um, I walked around and looked and I, I honestly can't remember where I found them. But just ask, ask somebody at your store if they have them because they weren't with the regular frames and where all the um, fall stuff is. Uh, I think this is the first year they came out with these. I don't recall ever seeing these. Hi, Veronica. Hey, Laura Jean, can you order them at online? And so what's the website? So, uh, and about, I know um, AC Moore, um, has an online store now. Uh, they do not sell all their stuff online, so you'd have to look. Um, I'm not sure if it's available online, but it's a double-sided um, mat. So it's acmore.com. And not all the Dollar Trees um, sell the same things, but these are, I, I believe these frames are new this year. 
Hi, Marie. So, I'm not sure. And you can probably look online. The only thing with ordering things online is you have to order it by the case. But, I mean, $24 for a case of them. And you could probably do other things with them. My ties are a little short, but I didn't want them to be super long because now I got to go back and clip all the other ones. You did cruffle, Cheryl? Yeah, I seen yours. I forgot to comment on it. Sorry, sweetie. It was adorable. That's where I got that. I said, oh, they got those there. So when I was there, I picked it up and then I thought, you know what? I'm going to go live on YouTube. So I'm going to start trying to do uh, Laura Jean's refurm again on Thursdays, my normal schedule. And I'm going to start going live on... Um, Thanks, Michelle. I know it's blue, too. Blue's my color. And it's, the other side is gray. So you guys seen how much I killed my other mat. You couldn't even read the lines. It had paint all over it. Um, so, you know, once I destroy this side, I can just flip it over. And uh, yesterday when I was there, they had an online coupon yesterday only for 60% off. So I got the mat. It was $60, and I got it 60% off. So I got it for like 25 bucks. So I was there at the right time, people. I hate when those things go up over my phone. And I was going to add other colors to this, but then I thought, no, I'm just going to do it all orange. Um, it would have been nice. I feel like... Um, if they had, like, the lighter shade and the darker shade of the orange, that would have been cool. And I do have that, but it's not Dollar Tree mesh, and I'm trying to use just Dollar Tree items. Hi, Sue. Yeah, right? Especially for a two sides. I mean, it's so heavy. I was like, why is this mat so heavy? <laughs> Like, I don't know, it is. And then we discovered it was two side, double sided. Oh man. Oh man. So when I'm done, I'll clip all the phrase off this because Dollar Tree Mesh does fray a lot. It's not the best quality. Hi, Jace. But it is cute when you're done using it. So I'm jumping onto the third bar now. Actually, I might want the top to be smaller, so I'm gonna push it down. You made it, Jace. Yeah, see, I feel like, um, so I have some of the orange left from last year, and then I picked some up just now. This has a lot of yellow lines in it, and I feel like Last year's mesh has the orange. Well, no, it's the same. No, it's not. This has orange and yellow, and this one only has yellow. Can you see the difference? There's dot both from the Dollar Tree, but one's last year's mesh and one's this year's mesh. Hey, Myra. So I'm just going to just repeat the whole thing, uh, 20 inch, I cut my mesh 20 inches long for 20 inch ruffles and we're just going to be putting them on every single bar until it's full. And again, this is my first time making it myself, so I'll figure out the top when we get that far. Laura D. Michelle says, Laura, do you know where the territory is for today? Uh, Michelle, it's still downloading. Oh, let me go look. 
it's literally I'm in the loft. Um, so I recorded the tutorial on the Mevo yesterday, and instead of doing one video, it did it in three separate videos, Michelle. So I had to send it to Cheryl. I had to listen unlisted on YouTube, so Cheryl could go grab it, and then you know Photoshop or whatever it is she does to make it one video. And she finished it and sent it to me at one in the morning. And then I, you know, went to make sure it was okay. And we were missing a whole section of a video because it went from not so full to 10 seconds later being extremely full. I was like, Cheryl, we're missing part of the video. So we had to redo the whole thing. And then she finished it this morning, but I went to see my dad and just got home a little while ago because my dad is sick. So I spent most of the day there. And then I, of course, had to finally go grab it off YouTube. Which, by the way, you guys, 200 people got to see part of that video last night. Um, sorry about that. They didn't get the whole thing, but they got a little bit. Um, and it's downloading, sweetie. It'll be up very soon. I still got to list it, Michelle. I still got to list that. Um, all right, shipping. I was going to stop by FedEx today, too, to check out shipping. Because shipping is killing me right now. Hi, Denise. Killing me. I mean, you guys know I pretty much put everything in the kitchen sink in my reef. So, um, they're not the cheapest. But then to add that shipping cost in there is just so much money. I mean, they pretty much tripled shipping. I might have to just stick to dollar store reefs. <laughs> I know, isn't it cute, Jace? I was just trying to think of like other things you could do with this frame. Because I'm sure there's a lot of other things we can create with it. Shipping is it's killing everyone. But, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, I, my business finally took me a year of working hard to get it to go. And now it's kind of at a standstill. So I, I'm going to have to make 4-inch reefs <laughs> instead of my normal 10-inch ones. I'm going to have to make them smaller which I don't think I know how. Hello, Virginia. Virginia said, went to my Dollar Tree today and they had tubing. Yes, yes, so Denise, I bought out two stores already. I'm sorry for anybody that's going to Clay, New York or Baldwinsville. Um, I, I mean, I left you some colors, but I bought all the black and the orange. I already have tons of red and green and Christmas color tubing, uh, but I wanted all the orange and black, so I bought them out, two stores. And there's actually four if I want to drive around, but I'll leave you guys a couple of them. <laughs> oh, I got to go there, Deborah. I haven't been there in a while, the Christmas tree shop. I got to go see what uh, stuff they have out now for fall and Christmas. Because me and my husband went, I don't know, a few weeks ago, and they didn't really have much out. Have a question. Veronica said, waterproof and snow mesh, which one is the best? Waterproof, uh, waterproof. What do you mean waterproof mesh? Most mesh is waterproof except for uh, burlap and um, fabric. I love the snow mesh. I think it's so pretty. But almost all your mesh is meant for outdoors. You know, to hang on your door. Yeah, it's home store. That was a bit. Oh, Michelle, you did. I know. I, I've been at Easy Morse two days in a row. Because I had to pick up the... Um, the embellishments for the fall kit because that'll uh, be here Thursday 
So they'll probably be listed Thursday or Friday. So I had to go pick up the stuff for that. And I still gotta get stuff for the Halloween. I ordered all the mesh and ribbons, but I gotta um, get the embellishments for those. Uh, Mich Tony says, oh, Michelle, you're going to. Yes, the at-home store has such nice things there. Love that store. So I bought most of my Halloween decorations for the outside of my house there because I redid. Um, I used to do witches, and I changed the whole theme to skeletons. <coughs> I'm heading to Dollar Tree to get my frame. Yay, Pam. They're very cute. I think they're so adorable. I grabbed a few of them. I should have probably just grabbed up the whole... I should have just bought them all. But this is... This would probably have to go into an 8-inch box. Which is crazy shipping prices. You got... You got Mr. Bones. Yes. I still got a list of Mr. Bones from yesterday. I have not even done that yet. You want it. I know, Michelle. I love the at-home store. They opened up a new home goods over here in Clay, too. And I went the grand opening with Kara and Jana. But that place was mobbed. And I was going to stop there today, but I was trying to get... You know, I stayed at my dad's lot a lot longer than I thought I was going to. Because you guys know I'm a talker. And I sat there talking my face off. <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, I gotta go. And I came home and thought, I'm gonna do a video. I'm going live. But I think I'm gonna start doing my schedule lives on YouTube on Monday. And on Facebook, on Laura Jean's Wraith Room, I'm gonna do Thursday, my original Thursdays. But I might switch it to an earlier. Normally on Thursdays, I go at eight. But you guys, I prefer to go earlier. Because at eight o'clock, I just wanna lay down, watch my TV shows. I'm tired from the day, and I feel like I have more energy the earlier of the day. At nighttime, I just, I just prefer to go earlier. So I think I might start doing my lives a little earlier, <coughs> which sucks for some people because on Mondays and Thursdays you'll be at work, but you all can watch me from work. <laughs> <laughs> finally hope I can't afford the sun. <laughs> and you know what the other thing is, you guys? So all my Dollar Tree videos that I have done, I don't think I've ever listed any of the Dollar Tree wreaths. I, I still have them. They're in the other room. I completely forgot to list them. I think I listed the first fall when I did, which sold right, sold right away. But all the other ones, I don't think I ever listed them. I just do it for the YouTube for you guys to, you know, watch the Dollar Tree videos. I don't really list them. Yes, they can always watch the replay, for sure. And if you're watching the replay, you could always, again, like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Just because I'm not live, you can still share me, people. You can still share me. And make comments because engagement is very important on my YouTube channel. Nice comments, please. And I'm just repeating the same steps over and over. 20 inch ruffles. Um, like, I don't how much mesh did you get? Cut. So I ended up cutting all 10 rolls. So I got 10 rolls of the orange and I cut them all. I think. Did I? Yeah, I did. So I, I like it to be very full. I, I do not. Uh, usually the Dollar Tree mesh you can see through. So I normally would double it. But because I can push this close together and just scrunching it down, you can't see through it. And the more you're filling it in, the, the thicker it'll get. 
Um, so I just wanted to make sure that you could not, normally I would double this mesh, but I don't need to because I'm scrunching it down. Uh, I haven't done a live on YouTube. I need to though. Yes, Michelle, you get money from YouTube. Once you start, uh, building up, you get to a certain amount of followers. So you should definitely get, get on that girl. You can message me about that. My uh, Deborah said my first wreath I made was a beach house from the Dollar Tree all bundles and my cousin still has it. Uh, yes, they can be very, very nice wreaths. Um, you know, I'm just not that crazy about their mesh. I, It's not that bad. It just frays a lot, but you just got to trim it. Um, and I just wish they sold it um, in other sizes too, besides just the one size. Like their ribbons. They, their ribbon, they only sell... The really, really skinny ones, or the two, what is it, two inches? Is it two inches? Um, they don't sell like the one and a half inch. You know, Dollar Tree has really cute flower, filler flowers too. Yeah, so uh, the, the ruffles are 20 inches long. And I ended up cutting 10 rolls down. I don't know if we'll use all 10. Oh, thank you, Annabelle. It is looking very cute and full. So, I mean, even if you spent $10 on your mesh, a dollar for the frame, a dollar for some pipe cleaners. Um, now it's got that little, um, what's that called here? <laughs> Spout, whatever it is. Um, that I would have probably do in a brown or another color. Now I did not get brown, so I'll, I'll have to look and see if I have some. Um, so I mean, you could probably make this whole wreath for like fifteen dollars, not even, which is pretty cheap to make a wreath. Because my wreaths are—I don't think I have a wreath that's under eighty. And that's that's kind of low. Lower, lower. How many ruffles per bar? I honestly I didn't count, but I can count the next one. I'm just thinking. So on the first bar, I did one full roll, Cheryl. So I did one roll on each bar is what I'm figuring. So thank you, the stem. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> um, the first one I already started just to see, and it took one whole roll. And there's, what did I say, seven, seven bars? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. <coughs> there, <clears throat> there's eight bars. So I figured you're gonna need at least eight rolls, one per bar. The stem, yes. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Whatever it's called. And I usually always double my Dollar Tree mesh, but you don't have to on this because you're scrunching it down. So I'm just attaching my zip tie to each bar, to the bar, and then twisting it in the back. Uh, I just, one roll of orange. Oh, Mary, you're gonna need more. <laughs> but I would do one roll per bar. So I would at least get eight. And then of course for the stem, you could you could probably use ribbon or something else on it or or whatever color. I have a gold mesh. I have black mesh. I don't know if I have um brown. I would have to run down to where all my Dollar Tree uh mesh is. It's down in my other craft room. And then, of course, I have a whole bunch of the smaller mesh from Hobby Lobby. Now, this one's definitely longer than 20 inches, but it was what's left on the end of the roll. And I wasn't going to get another 16-inch cut out of it, so I just did the whole thing. But I don't like that rolling right there, so I'm going to cut that off. And is that uploaded yet? The video should be in the loft by now.
why I've been doing the re tutorials in the loft on my phone, because the Mevo keeps putting it in three different videos, which is weird. This one does not want to stay straight. Yeah, I have gold too. So I thought you could, you know, you could uh, also do different colors in here. I almost was going to do that with the browns, the golds, and the oranges. Uh, did that form? Yes, Mary. It came from the Dollar Tree. Uh, all the mesh and um, the pumpkin frame is from the Dollar Tree. Oh, really, Michelle? I had that problem, too. What was it? What was it? Uh, let me think about that after the live. Message me that, Michelle, because I had the same problem. It was not finding um, my loft. It had all the other pages except the loft. And I'm trying to figure out what was the problem. Yeah, because it was frustrating. was the easiest thing too. What did I do? You're ready for fall? I mean, I love fall. And honestly, I've been so busy this winter. Usually by the time, like I, I always say, I wish it was summer all year round, but by the, I'm so busy in the summer between camp and the house and the pool and the yard and, you know, just the housework and everything else that um the business there's just it's a little overwhelming that when winter comes i'm like yes i can relax <laughs> is she yeah so yeah lori we figured that out for me um i might have to scroll up through those messages and find that but I, I, i'll i'll go look through my mevo because i know it was the simplest little thing and i know when you set your mevo up you have to make sure it's on especially for YouTube. What was that, Cheryl, that we had to make sure? But that wasn't, that wasn't it. It was, it was just a stupid little button that I had to click because it, it was not showing my design group. Look how full that is. You can't even see the frame. So cute. You're not used to YouTube shared finally. Oh, thank you, Dee. I know YouTube's a lot different than Facebook. Earlier I went on uh, Marla is live. Marla's got a new business page. Uh, the Busy Purple. Oh, shoot, I can't remember. The Busy Purple B. The Busy Purple B. <laughs> um, and when I got on her live, I had no volume. So I just left it and exited out all my programs that were open and went back and it was on. Oh, and Angelica, I'm glad you finally got me. I know I haven't been on my schedule lives on YouTube in quite a while. But I'm coming back, guys. I'm going to come back to Monday nights. Well, Mondays, not so much night, maybe around five, four or five, maybe two. I, I, I don't think I'll have a set time on Mondays. Just when I feel like going, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'll send an alert. You guys also make sure that you're, um, you click the little bell up at the top of the page uh, so you get notifications. If you're not signed up for my live alerts, I know some people on YouTube do not have a Facebook um, so, uh, the, my live alerts are set up through Facebook Messenger, so if you're not on Facebook, you won't get my live alerts, but you will get notifications from YouTube if you click on the little bell at the top right corner, uh, so you'll get a notification when I'm live, and also you'll see all my community posts that I really don't use, but I will start using it, uh, to send out when I'm live. 
You just hit it right at the right time. <laughs> Yay. Yes, yeah, so I'm using 20 inch, uh, the Dollar Tree mesh, and I cut them 20 inches long. I didn't really want them too shorter because, you know, Dollar Tree mesh is very see-through. And like I said, if I was just doing regular ruffles on a regular frame, I would have probably doubled it. And that also, too, when you get the notifications on YouTube, you get to see my community page uh, that lets you know when I'm doing giveaways, which I will be doing a giveaway very soon. Uh, so I have a design group on Facebook. And again, you'd have to have a Facebook to join my design group. It's LJ's Designers Loft. It is a paid group. Um, but I do one live a week in there and one uploaded tutorial, which the girls are waiting for right now. I hope it's in there. Uh, they're waiting for the Mr. Bones one I just did. Um, but, um, oh God, I just had a brain fog and I forgot what I was going to say. Um, you'd have to have, um, that's not what I was going to say. I'm thinking of too many things right at the moment. Um, oh, I'm doing the giveaway. So I'm going to do a giveaway, um, on King Sumo. I'll set that up either today or tomorrow. Or not today, not tonight. Uh, tomorrow or Thursday. Um, for a month free in my design group. Thank you, Caroline. It is um, just self tanner. I don't lay in the sun. I just use self tanners and I put it on today because I was quite white. That's all it is. Makes me look nice and tan. Because if you could see how white I was, I was getting light. Thank you. My, my craft room is crazy right now. My son just moved out, so I got his room. But then my daughter wants to come home because she wants to buy a small school bus and convert it into a home and travel the world. So she wants to move home to save so she can do that. And I was like, girl, you can come home, but you're getting that small room. You can't have the other room because my overflow of craft stuff's down there. And there's no way the small room's going to make it. I really need, like, a, a building. Because y'all know I love shopping for craft stuff. Before, when I went to Hobby Lobby, I was looking for stuff for my home. I don't even look at that anymore. I go right to the craft supplies. <laughs> Hi, little chickadee. <laughs> Hi, Christina. How are you? <laughs> I love that name, little chickadee. Isn't that cute? Oh, my God, I was thinking of a name. I don't know, it just popped in. I, oh, I was watching the movie Shazam at camp on my fire stick. And I was like, oh, that would be a cool wreath name for someone's name. Shazam Reese. Shazam. You know, like Babam's got Babam. Shazam. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped in my head. Uh, what do you use? Uh, Vicki, I use, it's from Sephora. If you message me, I will send you a picture of it because I don't remember. So there's a couple different ones I use, but I have a favorite. And then I have a very dark one, which is on me now. Um, but you have to really be careful applying it. You have to use a glove. I used to use the mitts, but um, just a rubber glove works much better for the darker one. And you just have to keep rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it so you don't streak. Campers, I, Brenda, I wish I could bring camp home and put it... Um, Oh, my grandma called me that. I love that name. Little chickadee. Um, my dad used to call me Half Point. <laughs> I got a lot of nicknames. Um, I, I told my husband, I wish we could just bring the camp part home, like take the Florida room off, and bring it home and set it next to the pool, because that would definitely be the perfect camp house. Hi, Millie. So you're on in my car. <laughs> we'll be careful driving. How do I message you? Vicki, do you have a Facebook? Um, so you just go to Laura Jean's Wreath Room, and then at the top of the page, just click message, and then send me a message asking me, and I will send you a picture of the two that I normally use. I know, oh God, what's the other one? 
that dark one. I haven't used that in forever, but I ran out of one, so I was like, well, let me try it. And yeah, you just gotta really keep rubbing it in so you don't streak. I look good and tan, don't I? <laughs> I got a little, you definitely want to wear a glove and not use your bare hands because your, this side of your hands will be completely brown. Some tanners you cannot wear a glove with. This one is not one of them. You're welcome. Hi, I'm uh, uh, Vicky. Yeah, Pam says, hi, I'm new to this, but I like watching you. I love learning how to do the briefs. Ah, uh, thank you, Pam. Thank you so much. So we're slowly but surely getting there. So I'm really thinking it's a one roll per bar. So you would definitely need at least eight rolls. So Laura says, hi, Laura. Uh, I may be coming in late to this live, but I love your channel. Been watching your channel for two weeks straight. I have fall race going too. Oh, thank you so much, Laura. I really appreciate that. I appreciate all the love from you guys and, um, you know, watching and liking me. <laughs> And I'm really glad that most of us are girls that watch me because, you know, I try to put these girls away, but I just looked up and was like, Jesus, boob shot. <laughs> it's all right, though. Most of the people that watch me are girls, so we all got them. Sometimes they're just there. So your mesh is going to try to curl a little bit under, so just make sure you're pulling it back up. Definitely tons of fray on here, so you just gotta make sure you're clipping it all down. Now, I, um, some people ask me about spraying my reefs. I do not spray my reefs ever. Um, when I first started, I did spray my flowered ones, but if your um, wreath is sitting in full sun, sometimes that spray can give your wreaths a yellow tint to it. And I mean, it's meant for outdoors, so this mesh. So you really shouldn't have to spray them. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> if you can also do a wood ruffle. Uh, you know, I was thinking of doing that too, but then I thought, no, I'll just do the... Um, regular ruffles because I was thinking of doing this a different way so I'm sure there are plenty other ways you could do this read it doesn't have to be with just ruffles but I just oh my ring stuck I just decided to do the ruffles uh, yeah so I don't normally did you do a video on the twisty the twisty what's a twisty Twisty, did you do a video on the Twisty? I don't know what that is. I have a question about the private classes. Do you send a supply list for the projects we were making? Uh, Trish, so I used to put up a supply list for all my wreaths in my uh, design group. Uh, I stopped doing that just because, now if you ask me for the list, and when I'm live doing my tutorials or live, I show you and give you item numbers uh, on my live, when I'm live in my design group or in the tutorials. Uh, but I stopped doing that just because, I mean, I have a crap room full of supplies that um, I tend to just use sometimes what I have. And a lot of times um, in my creations, my ribbons will be from four to five different stores. And it's not like you guys are going to pay the shipping to make that one reef on four to five different stores. But if you ask me for the list, I would most certainly give it to you. And I might start putting them up again. I, I'm going to start, uh, hi, Kara. Hey, girl, hey. Um, I think I am going to start doing my list again, though. And uh, I'm going to clean up my design group page and make it easier to find things. Um, and right now, if you join me, you get all the videos that I have posted already. Um, but I am going to change that so you only get from when you join because uh, I am going to start selling tutorials 
that are done in my design group on my Etsy. I just want to, um, I might have to get Vimeo or I could just list them on YouTube. I'm listed and send you the link. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to do that, but I'm definitely going to do something. How do you get to your design group? Uh, Marlene Cheryl can share that link or it's pinned right to my Facebook business page. Laura Jean's Reef Room on Facebook. It's pinned right at the top, but I'm sure my moderator will put that link up for you. Uh, my design group is $20 a month through PayPal. It's a reoccurring payment, so PayPal will automatically take that out on, of your account the day you join. So if you join today in 30 days, the same, the same day of every month it'll come out. Um, and I do, again, one live a week and one uploaded tutorial. So I go live on Wednesdays in my group, and then you get an uploaded tutorial on Tuesdays. Um, I have bow tutorials in there. I have my Christmas tree in there. And I do giveaways in there. And they also have the first option of buying my reef kits before I post them to my public page. So a lot of times I'll sell right out in my group and I never list kits to my regular page because my business group buys them out. <laughs> but you do need a PayPal. PayPal's free to sign up with. Just need an email. And uh, we also have a group chat in my uh, design group on Messenger that all the ladies chat in and help each other. I have a you, I have such supportive ladies in my group. We all help each other. Sometimes we go shop for each other. Because uh, a lot of people don't have an AC more. And again, AC more does not sell online. Um, so during certain seasons, I'll go there live in the chat room. And uh, um, buy the girls. Uh, turn the camera around and show them the ribbons. And I'll have like 10 different baskets going with their name in it. And I shop for them and send it to them. You are so very welcome, Marilyn. Oh, okay. So the Crafty Creators, I have a public page that's free. <laughs> uh, it's, I don't go live on that page. Um, but it's called uh, Crafty Creators and More. It's a public group page on Facebook that you can go in and, again, be inspired by others. Uh, post your pictures of your reefs. And then I also do a pinned post. Well, not pinned, but, um, you know, asking you to put your business page or your Etsy page so we can all go like and support. Now, you cannot put those on the pictures of your wreaths, but you can go to PicMonkey. That's free. And uh, put your business logo across your wreath or your business name so people know who that wreath was by. That's what I do in all the groups. And um, But that is a free group where you just answer the three questions and one of my moderators or I will let you in. Um, probably one of my moderators. <laughs> I do need to start uh, posting in there a little more. Your Dollar Tree doesn't have anything, Laura. Really? They should have all that stuff out by now. They just came out with these um, frames, I think, so... Yours might just be a little behind, maybe next week, or just keep looking back there. But the ladies in the group are so great. They help each other. Um, I really, I, we're like a, a family in there. We love each other. We FaceTime. I'm always available for any kind of questions or any kind of help. And I'm, I'm like that on Laura Jean's Wreath Firm or on YouTube. All you got to do is message me and ask me, and I will answer you. Yeah, all this mesh is Dollar Tree. Uh, and how wide, it, how wide is it? So this is Dollar Tree. At, what is Dollar Tree? Six inch? Uh, 6.5 inches is Dollar Tree's width, and I cut them 20 inches long. And then we're using the Dollar Tree pumpkin form. And we're trying to make a pumpkin. Um, so, Gabri, 68, Lord, did you buy everything? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I bought everything from the Dollar Tree except my pipe cleaners. Um, so I always try to use Dollar Tree 
supplies when I'm making a Dollar Tree wreath, but I don't like Dollar Tree's pipe cleaners. They're very flimsy. I don't. I just don't like them, so I don't use them. That's just my personal taste. So I do use Hobby Lobby's um, pipe cleaners. And I cut my pipe cleaners in half, and then I cut them in half again. Because you don't really need a big piece. You need just enough to twist it, and then put it on your bar. Which I'm trying to figure out what bar I left off at. It didn't, it might, you guys, mine just came out with the these forms. They didn't have them there last week, so they just must have came in this week because um, I was there last week buying all that tubing, and I didn't see them there last week. Um, so just keep going back and looking because, and again, you guys, you can order them online. Now, trying to find stuff online at Dollar Tree can be a little tricky, um, but you do have to order by the case. Oh, I misspelled the wreath you used. Yeah, I wasn't sure what that was. It's a pumpkin. Yeah, this is a pumpkin wire form. It looks just like... I have an extra one. Hold on. It looks just like this. Can you see it? It's actually quite large. It is 18... It's almost 18 inches... Hi, honey. 18, and where the stem ends is 12 and a half, 13, 13 and a half. 18 and a half by 13 and a half. Is that what it says? It doesn't say. Michelle, do you know if that video is in the loft yet? Uh, Mary Ellen, I am doing, Mary Ellen asks, how many rolls of mesh? I bought 10 rolls, but there are eight bars on the um, frame. And I figured one roll per bar, but I did cut all 10 rolls down. So I like mine quite thick, but I'm thinking just one roll per bar. So you're going to need at least eight and then slide them down because you want your wreath to be full and not see that bar. You don't want to see your wire form. So I'm thinking you only need eight. I just bought extra. I had to run there, I only had seven, so I was short a roll, and then I just picked up two extra just in case. So I didn't want to be short on my live. And like I said, you guys can, I think an orange, brown, and gold, uh, that yellowy gold one, would look uh, really cute in one of these pumpkin wreaths too, which I almost did, but then I said, no, I'm just gonna do all orange. But I think the multicolors would look so cute in here. Oh, really, Brenda? Hmm. That's okay. You can do it when you go back to Facebook. Hello, Norma. Welcome to my channel. I hope you liked and subscribed. So you can make this adorable wreath for under 20 bucks. Hi, Laura. Have you ever done a 20-inch wreath form? I have, Lynn, Laura. Um, nah, I think I've done two of them. But um, when I first started making wreaths, I only used 18-inch um, ones, the 18-inch wire forms, where you had to add the pipe cleaners because I didn't even know what a work wreath form was. It comes with the ties already attached. And then once I discovered that, um, that's pretty much all I use now. And it makes my wreaths the same size as the 18-inch did. So I guess it really doesn't matter the size of your frame. Because my wreaths are just as big on the 15-inch form as they were on the 18.
I think, and my loft debts are on here um, answering questions too. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. This is poor people stuff said Jason. Well, Jason, some people are on budgets, have kids, um, and they want something cute on their door. And there's nothing wrong with a Dollar Tree wreath. They look absolutely adorable when they're finished. So this might not be for you, Jason. You did, Brenda. Brenda said she started with 18 inch. Yep, that's all I used. Well, I, I didn't know what the work reforms were. Um, ouch. You know what? I, oh, you guys, that's not all my mesh. Did I cut it all? Because I'm on, I'm all done. And I still have another bar. So, <laughs> there's another bar. <laughs> You guys, I must have caught all 10. There's another bar down here, and I don't have enough mesh. <gasps> so I used 10 rolls, and I still need one more roll. Uh oh, I thought I, I must have cut. I did. I used all 10. I'm scrunching mine tight together, though, because I like them nice and tight. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes, I think I'm going to buy. Yes, that they're called work wreath forms, Lori or Laura, and I love them. they the ties are really nice and thick, and they just add that extra. I am actually a Dollar Tree now. <laughs> oh, little chickadees at the Dollar Tree. I am short on mesh, so I would do eleven rolls. Um, cause I just like mine full. And I just never want to see that form. Oh, that's okay. I said that stuff. Well, about time, Kara. Did you get your box yet? I've been looking and scoping the window, girl. I'm still waiting for my signs from MJ. Oh, Ismael was timed out, is in YouTube jail. These little ones, I can't believe that took all 10 rolls. I'm thinking eight, but you guys, you might want to pick up 11 rolls. You were asleep. <laughs> What's wrong with the lower income people, right? Don't listen to them. Um, they're just trolls on Facebook. They're bored, have nothing else to do, so they just jump on people's lives and say stupid things. The best thing to give them is to ignore them. Oh, I'm short. I even went and got three extra rolls so I wouldn't be short, and I'm short. All right. Well, you really can't tell, but I'm going to squeeze these in here. Now, I'm going to have to go back and get more. Son of a gun. You're going to have to start talking taking off your shoes to count on. You're going to have to start taking off your... <laughs> See how that... This one's darker than that one. So that's last year's and this is this year's. Last year's orange was darker. <laughs> uh, shoot. I, I would say one roll um, for each bar, guys. I just made mine, I slid them down tight. You don't need to really do that. They full out, they, they fluff out, shape it out. But I, I will have to fill in um, that spot. And I wanted this more dipped down right there. So I didn't, I didn't go up all the way because I wanted it to have a space right there. So it got that shape. I can't believe you know what? I would say get 12 rolls. Okay, get 12. Because I just used 10 in there and I'm 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 still looking like did I really Yeah. I don't have any any anywhere else. All right. So let's do the stem. Let me grab um let me go see if I got brown. I'll be right back.
Sorry, guys. Go ahead, Umbrella. Don't touch me, stuff. Go. Get out. All right, so I do not have brown Dollar Tree mesh, but I do have Hobby Lobby brown. So I'm going to use this. Just pretend that it's brown from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's see. How do I want to do my stem? Should I do rolls? I think rolls. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Linda. Okay, I'm gonna try to do rolls for the stem, I'm thinking. And because this is thin, I like to do my rolls a little bit longer. Hello, I just joined it. Laura, say 10 rolls, three. Uh, so, hi, Joanne. Um, I did, so there's eight bars and I'm thinking a roll for each bar, but I'm on 10 rolls and I'm actually short on the last bar. So I would say just to be safe, get 12. They're only a dollar. <laughs> I would get 12, but I like to fill mine in really full because I, again, don't want to see the wire. But I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut it, let's say, 15 inches long. I want to see how this roll looks. So hold on. Oh, that didn't work. I don't like that my mat is backwards. I'm used to my one being down at the other end. So I'm going to roll it. So I cut this 15 inches long. Because I like my rolls to be thick. And I'm also going to grab, I'm going to just put a, cut a couple of them. Let's do five. I'm not sure. This is the first time I'm making it too. And I'll show you the wreath I'm going to do on Monday's live on YouTube. I'll show you that too when we're done with this. Because I was going to do that I've been wanting to do that for days now, but I decided to do, do the Dollar Tree. Oh my God, they have eight Reese forms. <laughs> Did you buy them all? <laughs> Little chickadee said they have eight. <laughs> I only picked up two, but I'll probably go back and get more. Hi, Deborah. So I'm thinking I might just bundle these all together at the end. Show you that in a second. And I got all kinds of colors in here. Let me see. I want brown that down and I'm just gonna grab these by the ends just like this and then I'm gonna twist them or at the bottom so I'm going to grab them all from the bottom. I shouldn't have cut my pipe cleaner, but I did. <laughs> I'm going to grab them all from the bottom. Um, just got here. Deborah said, just got here. Did you do ruffles? Yes, Deborah, I did 20-inch uh, ruffles with the Dollar Tree mesh. And we're using a Dollar Tree... Um, 
pumpkin form. And I think I might do five more on the other side. I definitely need more mesh to fill in the top, just a little more. So, yeah, I'm going to do five more. you get my message today? Who, me? I know she's not talking to me. Or, oh, I'm trying to look. I hate when there's stuff that goes across my page. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Whoops. So just you're just going to tuck in that end and then roll. Just tucking it in and then rolling it. I like my rolls to be a little bit tight. I don't like them loose and big. Uh, and Laura, I think the video is in, up in the loft. Oh, good. Yay. No, honey, I didn't get your message. Oh, good. It finally uploaded in there. Thank God. You don't think you've seen brown at the Dollar Tree? Oh, I, um, they have brown. I don't know if, this is not from the Dollar Tree, guys. Um, I did have brown from the Dollar Tree from last year, but I used it in last year's fall wreath. Um, and my other craft from the lights is like a fan with a neon light on it, so I couldn't really see. So I just came in here and grabbed this out of my other I got another drawer with all this size mesh in it. So this brown is actually from Hobby Lobby. But uh, Dollar Tree does carry brown mesh. Now will they still, it's usually, they usually have it out in the fall. So I don't know if they still have it now. But you could also use, um, I almost was gonna use gold on the top too. I just thought the brown would stand out more. You could use black. You don't have to use brown. I'm just using brown. It, it's, it's brown, yeah. And this is not Dollar Tree. This mesh is from Hobby Lobby. Because I did not have any more of the brown Dollar Tree mesh. But I know they only carry it in the fall, so it might not be available. But you could use green. Yep, I was going to use green too. Good idea. Um, Grabbery68 said you can use the moss green. Yep, I almost did the green. I, I actually bought the green. But I decided to use brown. And I'm just adding these rolls to make a big stem. And I'm just twisting it around where the stem is. Let's tuck that under. I do need to pick up more orange to fill this in though. I'm, I'm quite shocked that, but you guys know I fill these babies nice and tight. <laughs> I never want to see the frame. It was making me nervous. Um, just shape it out. I do have to fill in more of the orange up here and down this side because it's a little... I missed that last bar. So I... I mean, I'm saying 12, so there's 10 in here, and I could probably do another roll on this bar, and then I could fill in more up on this top part. So I would definitely say 12 rolls. If you want to be safe, I would do 13, but 12 would definitely fill this in. And also, I also grabbed, because there's so many things that you could do different colors, you can do your... Um, stem differently. I mean, there's a lot of different things you could do. You could also add um, orange flowers in there if you wanted. Uh, you could add, add some orange flowers to it. Where's my cutter? Oh, you guys, I went to, at my dad's, I went to reach 
for something and I felt my shoulder pull. And I'm like, oh, please, last, is it this year? Whatever. Um, during the summer, I don't know, I went to reach for something and pulled my shoulder and it hurt for, I could, I had to cancel my lives for two weeks. But I mean, you could put flowers in it throughout it and make it look even more personalized. And I got these long things, or you could do the willows. You could also put these up in here. Um, you could add a bow in the front of it, but you could have those sticking out. Um, if you wanted something taller on your door. Am I up high enough for you guys? So, I'm not sure if I like the uh, rolls. You know what it is? It's it's not filled in right here, so you're seeing the ends, because I do need more mesh up there. And I might do something different with the rolls. Um, or, um, I was trying to find, because you know how I always go to the pumpkin fields and pick my own pumpkins, and they got that long stem on there. I was trying to find something that was like that, but I was thinking I could bend these, but I don't like that either. I mean, there's so many different things you could do. I know I definitely don't want my shoulder to hurt. And be very careful with it. Always learn something. She's so talented. She makes me sick. <laughs> uh, thanks, Kara. Uh, but, yeah, you could do flowers. You could add sunflowers to it. You could do your stems differently. You could do ruffles even in the brown for the stems. Um, you could use flowers up there. I mean, there's so many different things that you could do and you know just get creative with this is my first one I'm not too crazy about the rolls as the um but I think once I fill it in more on that top because I'm not filled in all the way it is cute though yeah I definitely want to fill in because I can even see some spaces right here I can see a space right there so I could slide this more See, so I mean, if you really want this full full, I would go with 15 rolls. I'm not gonna lie, because I don't want to see any part of this frame, and I can see an opening right there. So I would definitely, you're gonna have to pull these up because they tend to want to tip down. As it gets fuller, it's gonna push against them and push them down. So pull them all up, and then go ahead and cut all your frays. You could add sunflowers to it. Let's see, let me cut those down real quick. So I bought this, uh, I like the little filler flowers. I call these little fillers. Um, so I buy my really good flowers at usually Craft Out or um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And then just a little filler flowers. Um, I'll get some of the Dollar Tree ones. Cause Dollar Tree actually has cute filler flowers. So I'm getting ready to do a grapevine tomorrow in my loft for fall. And then we're probably going to be moving on to Christmas. But, I mean, you could just keep filling these in all over the wreath. You could probably cover your whole mesh with flowers. It's really, you just got to be creative and make it your own. I mean, I only have that many. But you could add flowers. You could do so many things with this. So let me show you what I'm going to do on Monday. But that's my pumpkin so far. I ran out of mesh, guys. I'm really sorry. I thought 10 rolls would be enough. Um, and I might do something different up there. I'll post a picture of this on Laura Jean's Wreath Room on Facebook when it's completely finished. You, I might even add a little bow up here around the top of the stem. And... Uh, they had this at the Dollar Tree. Now, this must have been from last year. And then uh, these are all last year's ribbons. So I'm going to like add a, just a little bow tie up at the top of it once I finish putting all the rest of the mesh that I don't have in it. <laughs> what back in? Oh, so on this one, Virginia... So normally I use Dollar Tree or at home or wherever I buy Walmart. I buy placemats everywhere, big lots, wherever I can find the colors I want. I, I really like the at home uh, placemats the, the best. 
Uh, I just think they're a little better quality, but it really doesn't matter. It's for the back of your wreath. But I would use a big piece of felt on this one. So they have the big felt sheets. Let me grab one. Watch out. Oh, ouch, I just fell. Ouch. No, I don't want you over here. My wreath is on the floor. I don't trust you. Do not come over here. Uh, let me grab one. Um, and I always try to match the color, which I don't have, but I have white. You could probably even use a big foam sheet too. Watch out for a little. And really, it just makes it look nicer. But you could buy the big um, sheets um, that you can get right at Hobby Lobby. I don't know what this is. It's just uh, like a fabric sheet. What are these called? Felt. The felt sheets. Duh. Um, this is a big one. What size is this? 12 by 18. So that would, you know... So what I would do before you even start your wreath is take your form and put it down so you can cut it out. And then that way when it's finished, this mesh isn't in your way. And then all you do is poke a hole with a knife or something. And then I would zip tie or pipe clean. I'll put a pipe cleaner around it. So I would just poke a hole and then stick my pipe cleaner around the barn through the fabric, the felt and then either pipe clean or zip tie it down. If you're using a zip tie, once you cut that extra piece off, remember to turn it to the inside of your wreath because it'll be sharp. You don't want to scratch anyone's door. Or you could also use the big, so this is two sheets of foam, but they sell these in bigger sizes. You could actually put a foam sheet over the back of it too. I would probably use the felt though on, on these ones. Um, and let me show you what I'm going to do for Monday. So on Monday, I am oh, going to do this. So I got this from Derica when I was at Wreath Makers Live. Um, Virginia said, okay, appreciate it. I am learning from you. Oh, thank you. Um, I hate when there's stuff all over my table. Um, so I got this gnome. Isn't it so cute? At Wreath Makers Live. Let me turn my camera so you guys can see me. So I got that at Wreath Makers Live. He's just got his little gnome face with his little nose. Isn't he cute? Can you see that? I know the lighting is like hitting me like mad right now. Hold on. Let's see if I lower it. Well, he does have a nose. It's right there. <laughs> and then he's got the little arms and his little legs. Isn't it so cute? And I already had this sign. Oh, how cute is that? It was meant to be. So I will be making this on Monday. And this I got from Derica. She's on Facebook. And I also have, Bella, what do you chew? Don't chew anything in this room, Bella. And then I have the matching ribbon too. I'm almost done. I don't know where I put it. I put my stuff, oh, it's in a container, but I have the, the matching four inch ribbon to go with this. So yes, this one I can't wait to do. I've been wanting to do this. I'm sorry, I just keep getting notifications across my phone. And there they go again. Oh, forget it. They just keep popping across my phone. So this will be on Monday. I've been dying to do this one, right? I love, you know, I was never a big gnome person, um, but they're actually growing on me, um, especially the reef ones. The, um, you know, the gnomes that people put in their yards, the little saran, I don't like those, but these are adorable. And at Christmas last year, um, Home Goods had one, it was a gnome, that there was three of them. They were like this big. I thought they were 20 bucks, so I was gonna grab all three of them. They were just adorable. They were like this big. They were huge, um, but they were 75 bucks a piece. So I'm hoping they have them again because I, I gotta grab one. They were so freaking cute. Uh huh. Yeah, so if you guys want my live alerts, also you guys, anything that um, 
I also am an influencer for uh, eFavormart. They sell wedding supplies and stuff. Um, if you uh, need wedding stuff, and they also have craft flowers and things. Uh, if you click the link, so below my videos, at the end of this video, um, Cheryl will go up and put all my links in, my affiliate links, um, to all the supplies I use, my design group, my live alert. So anytime you're looking for any of my links, they're always below every single video. Um, you just have to click um, the descriptions and it'll, you won't really see it unless you click learn, uh, show more. Show more, yeah, I think you gotta click show more and then the whole list will pop up. So they're always under every single video uh, we put up after the live. I know, it is cute. I can't wait to do this one. The only thing it's throwing me off because I have this mesh too, but I can't use the mesh with this and the same ribbon. I mean, it's all going to be blended together. So that I'm still figuring out. I'll probably pop it with a burlap. So yeah, I can't wait to do this one. That will be Monday. I will send you an alert or again, a notification. So uh, make sure that you click the little bell so you get my notifications. And I really appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, the pumpkin, again, Sherry, is from the Dollar Tree. Oh, thank you, Pam. Um, I appreciate you guys joining me. Again, if you're watching the replay, you can always still like and share and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And I will see you guys on Monday. And if you want to message me, you can just message me on Facebook. Uh, or, or leave a comment here. I always um, encourage you guys to um, make comments, even if you're watching a replay, because engagement is very important to my page. So I appreciate you guys. I love you all. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye. All right.